the first design challenge that you may come across is rotational speeds. If you have a fast moving motor or a some other fast moving shaft, um, you'll need to consider the speeds that you're putting on the ring. This is only a concern with external rings because if you have a ring in the housing, as the speeds increase, the ring just wants to push further and further into that groove. So, you know, picture yourself on a gravitron at the um, at a carnival, and you'll see the rings aren't going anywhere. But on the external side, you do have to worry about this. Um, from a design standpoint, a tapered section ring will help to improve radial force as the RPM limits are directly related to spring force remaining in the ring. Uh, the easiest way to picture this is if you take your thumb and your index finger and try to pinch them together, that's the forces you're seeing on a ring. And as you open up, that's kind of the action you see the other way around. Um, deeper grooves will help you have higher RPM limits as well as um, controlling your expansion during installation. The controlled expansion during installation will limit permanent set that gets introduced into the ring and leave as much, um, leave as much strength in that ring and spring in that ring as possible. Um, deeper grooves are better because as the ring starts to separate, the groove wall is still there to keep the ring from being pushed out of the, of the groove. Um, thicker is not always better for this as, um, as the spring rate is also a product of the, uh, the aspect ratio. So as your thickness increases, you also need to increase your section to avoid, um, to ensure that spring force is still remaining in the ring. Um, we have reinforced versions of our rings, which we'll see later in the load section. But basically, we have our standard radially installed E-ring. And if you require additional rotation speeds or additional loads, we have our RE style ring, which you actually see pictured on this slide in gold. Um, likewise, our SH shaft rings have a reinforced version, the SHR rings. Rotoclip can also offer a couple of special solutions for high rotational speeds. Um, here you see two rings. The top ring is a standard DCR style retaining ring. This is a two-turn spiral ring. They're constant in section all the way around, um, so they don't always have the highest of RPM limits. But by adding a notch and a um, uh, punch in the in the ring, we create a locking feature. On the lower ring, you can see this locking feature, and you can imagine as the as the speeds start to increase and that ring starts to open, the notch on the top catches on the prong that's sticking into that notch and prevents further expansion. <laughs> 